Hello viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me an Open Source Channel. Right, this video is about how to upgrade your Kubernetes cluster uh, if you're using KubeSpray to provision your cluster. In my previous video, we saw how to provision a cluster. So we provisioned a version 1.15.3 Kubernetes cluster and now we can see how to upgrade your cluster. So all my environment is from the previous video. If you haven't watched my previous video, please uh, watch my previous video. And I'm continuing from where I left from my previous video. All right, kubectl get nodes. As you can see here, we have uh, four nodes, node one, two, three, and four, two master, and all of them are worker nodes. And we are running Kubernetes version 1.15.3. All right, so in order to upgrade the Kubernetes version, I'm going to log into my Ansible machine, LXC exec Ansible bash and CD to kube spray. So if you're directly watching this video, some of the commands might not make sense to you. So please watch my previous video so that you understand what I'm actually doing in this video. So here we are going to edit one of the file, which is vi inventory my cluster group wars k8 is cluster k8 is cluster dot yaml and here uh, the cube version is 1.15.3 let's change that to 1.16.2 save that and we are going to run ansible playbook minus i for the inventory file which is inventory my cluster host.yaml we are going to connect to each of the nodes using the root user account so node 1 to node 4 we are going to log in as root and then provision the or upgrade the cluster and the command and the playbook we are going to use is upgrade cluster.yaml all right so while it's doing that uh, you need to bear in mind let, let's do one thing let's run a deployment kubectl run nginx minus minus image nginx replicas 4 right that's done kubectl get all <coughs> or let's do kubectl get pods pending kubectl get pods all right let's do it as a watch command kubectl get pods okay let's also do watch minus x kubectl get nodes comma pods minus o wide kubectl uh, minus x yep all right so we can see we have all the nodes uh, running kubernetes version 1.15.3 and we have the pods running on each of the nodes so all of them are worker nodes basically all right so we have a pod running a replica of nginx running on each of the nodes node one two three and four so what we are doing down here is we are using ansible to upgrade our existing cluster so we are upgrading from 1.15.3 to 1.16.2 and given already we are running some workloads in our cluster what this uh, playbook is going to do is it's going to upgrade the nodes one by one so it's first gonna go with node one and then to node two and then it goes uh, to each node one by one so first it upgrades node one to 1.16.2 and then it goes to the other nodes so what it basically does is it disables the node from the cluster so it uh, disables scheduling so any new parts that you deploy won't get deployed to node one while it's being upgraded all right and if there are already pods running on node one, for example, here node one has one of the Nginx pod running, what it will do is it will cordon the node so that no new pods will come into that node, as well as the existing pods will get rescheduled on other nodes while it's doing this upgrade. And then it will uncordon that node and then goes to the second node, does the upgrade, follows the same process. If there are any existing pods, it it just evicts the pod so that the pod gets run or scheduled on another on other nodes so this one is going to take about 30 to 40 minutes it's going to be longer than the initial cluster provisioning so um i'll pause the video and i will uh, resume it whenever i want to show you something all right so 15 minutes passed and you can see node one is disabled 
So it, no new parts will go into node 1 and it has already evicted the part that was running on node 1. So now we can see there are two parts running on node 3. All right. So since we are connected to the master and it's upgrading the master at the moment, node 1, you might see temporary disruptions to your kubectl interaction with your uh, master API server. So that's fine. And now it's disabled node 1 and it has already evicted the pod which was running on node 1 and it has rescheduled it on another pod. In this case, it's node 3. And it's still 1.15.3. It will soon be upgraded to 1.16.2 and then it will go on to the next node. All right, so it has done the node 1. Node 1 has been upgraded. You can see the Kubernetes version here, 1.16.2. And it has now disabled node 2 and you can see there shouldn't be any pod running on node 2, yep. So node 1 is available and the pod that was running on node 2 has been rescheduled to node 4 and it is currently upgrading node 2. All right, so node 2 has been upgraded to version 1.16.2 and now it has disabled node 3. So there were two pods running on node 3 and they have been rescheduled to node 1 and node 2. So there shouldn't be any pods running on node 3. So that one is getting terminated. Yep. So we don't have any pods. The pods that were running on node 3 have been evicted and rescheduled to the other pods and now it's upgrading node 3. So node 3 has been upgraded. Now finally it's doing the last worker node, node 4. Container creating. Yep. Uh, the parts that were running on node 4 have been evicted and scheduled to node 3. Alright, so that's the last of the nodes that it will be upgrading. So all the other nodes are on version 1.16.2. Cool, so all the nodes have been upgraded now. It took less than 30 minutes, nearly 30 minutes. So all the nodes have been upgraded to version 1.16.2. Cool, it's really that simple kubectl get notes kubectl version minus minus short cool we are on version 1.16.2 so that's how you upgrade your cluster all right so that's all for this video i will see you all in my next video which will be about adding or deleting uh, any node master node hcd node or worker node and i will see you all in my next video if you've got any questions meanwhile follow my previous video on this video see if you can reproduce uh, the same thing the same process and if you've got any questions let me know in the comments and please share and subscribe i will see you all in my next video bye bye